Greetings, everyone. Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. Thank you for being here. Hello, cross watchers. You are welcome here. We are going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of my Pisces. So come on in, Pisces. Chill, chillax, put your feet up, relax, lay back, do what you do. Um, no, these are general readings. They're also timeless. So whenever you see this reading, it's that's when it's meant for you to see it, okay? All right. And place yourself where you are supposed to be in the reading, okay? Sometimes the readings can be um, sort of reversed. It can be like <clears throat> you're on the outside looking in. So sometimes it's happening in someone else's life and you're the observer. Um, sometimes it's relatable to you. Sometimes um, it happened in the past, present, or, or it's happening in the future. Uh, it just depends, okay? All right, and you can have Pisces in any particular placement in your natal chart. We are just going to see what's coming out for you, Pisces. Okay. There could be something loud and fast going on in your life, too. I'm listening to, um, it was very quiet at first, and as soon as I started this reading, there could be something loud and fast. Something that's moving fast. I almost feel like that chariot energy. All right. All right. So let's see. I just shuffle the cards on camera just so you can see it, Pisces. And I'm using the Kipper deck for anyone who want to know house. Something about house could also so so house isn't just about real estate. Okay, it's just it's not just about um, a house like a, a physical house. It could also be about your home, where your spirit resides, where your soul resides, where your energy resides. Right? Okay. So if you look at this picture here, we're looking at the number twenty. Right? Cross out that zero. Number two. Um, there's something that is like, there's, it's almost for like a, um, a balanced energy. Some of you all may have Libra placement. Um, but there's also, I kind of feel like if you look at this picture, you see the lights on, right? You see the lights on, the lights are on outside, the lights are on inside. But what I also notice is there's a gate here. So there could be some, either you feeling like you have to set healthy boundaries, okay? Um, this is a very nice house. It almost looked like a Victorian style type, you know, home or something like that. There's also a moon in the background. So there could be some sort of secrecy or intuition or just the feeling of some sort of energy, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pull another card. Imprisonment. So imprisonment could mean a physical prison, but it also could mean being in a situation where you feel kind of like limited in your movement. OK, so it could be a mental imprisonment, like where you feel like, damn, you know, you keep thinking about something and you kind of want your situation to change, but you feel held back in some area of your life. This also could be a situation where you are um, the because imprisonment could also mean like hospitals, like you have to be in the hospital or something like that. But it also could mean like a physical prison, like you actually like somebody actually being in prison but I'm looking at the house so some of you all feel like where you are isn't the best place for you okay um we're gonna clarify the card lovers here so with this energy here I feel like some of you all there's something that's locked in okay there's some sort of maybe you've set up some sort of healthy boundaries with someone they could feel locked in out of your life um there's a fence here there's bars here somebody may feel locked out of your life locked out of your energy this could be somebody who was trying to kind of like vibe with you you know kind of just like get your energy pisces get your attention and they could just really feel closed out okay and i feel like this has something to do with it doesn't necessarily have to be a like a intimate relationship meaning like with a significant other it could be with um, family members. It could be just somebody who at one time you all had love for each other. There was some love. Where is the love you said you sent to me? Somebody feels like you don't love them no more, Pisces. Uh-oh, marriage. So this could be somebody who you were married to. They could be somebody who, or somebody who wanted to marry you at one time. Um...
I just got the energy that even if you are married to this person and you all are in the same house, you're in the same household, there's some sort of blockage between you all. This could be lack of communication. This could be um, maybe you all aren't being intimate with each other. Like there's there's lack of intimacy, possibly even sex. Um I feel like there's something going on right now that's a barrier between you and someone. Okay. Mature woman, Virgo energy here. 31. Yeah, bad health and prison. I just said something about a hospital. I said that before this bad health came out. Look, 31st, 29th through the 31st. Mature woman, five Virgo, I mean, um, Leo energy, um, Gemini energy there, 22 official person. Hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? Unexpected income. What's up under that? Toil and labor. Some of you all, your hard work is going to pay off, but it's coming in a way that you're not expecting. What's, what's here? Child. Some of you all, your hard work is definitely going to pay off. It's something new that you're not expecting. But I feel like this is, is something that has stressed you out. I don't know what the heck this is, Pisces. It's something that's on your mind where you feel kind of held back or restricted. Um... If you go over to my other channel, my Star Spa channel, look at the Virgo reading. Look at the Virgo, Leo, and, and um, Gemini reading because that could be significant to your reading, Pisces, okay? All right. Um, <clears throat> Let me get some more information. There's something, it's something else that you need to know or that you're not seeing, something that you need to acknowledge or pay attention to, or someone wants to be acknowledged by you, Pisces. So I feel like some someone feels ignored by you. They feel kind of cut out of your life. This could be causing them stress. Somebody also look at you as knowledgeable. You got a mature woman here, mature man there. Somebody wants you to see them how you used to see them, Pisces. I feel like this is somebody who you showed a lot of love to. Maybe you all built a lot of memories together. Somebody wants you to hold them in high regard and look at them in a, as an official person. Like you lose. But wait a minute, let me tell you something, Pisces, what I see here. So for, so for whatever reason, I feel like you have lost some level of respect for someone. I don't know what happened between y'all, but I feel like you lost respect for someone because of something that they said or did. It, it just didn't sit well with you. It could have caused you some level of stress. Dealing with them could have felt like you were dealing with somebody who, you know how somebody, you know how you hear people say a person is institutionalized, even if they're out of prison, they still have that prison mentality, right? It's something that I feel like this person does where you feel like they need to break free from it because it was causing you stress or it was just putting too much negative energy on the connection. And it doesn't even mean that they have to be institutionalized with their thinking. This could just be a person who's set in their ways because they're older and their age. Okay? They're 31, maybe they're 31 or older. And they're kind of like, this is how I'm used to doing something and I'm not going to change it, even if it is causing some sort of friction between us. So I feel like there's a situation where this person do see you as an intelligent person, someone who maybe you have a, your vernacular 
is is vast or something or it's because i'm saying that because of all of the books here or maybe you're well traveled maybe i f there's something where i feel like this person ha holds you in high regard but they don't feel like that feeling is mutual when it comes to them i feel like this is someone who you don't hold in high regard anymore you still may love them or you still Maybe you still are in the energy of this person, like you all may still live together. But it's something that has changed and they desire to have that back with you again. They want you to see them a certain way. All right, hold on. Let me let me pull some cards. Let me pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming out. The hang one, yeah, something is stuck. I also, this person also feels like you point out petty stuff about them. Like all you do is kind of like you're stuck on pointing out every little detail, everything that's wrong. Virgo energy. Like you notice every little tiny detail. Which are which Pisces are known to do? People people place that label on Virgo, but Pisces is the opposite of Virgo. Pisces could be in that Neptune energy, but I'm gonna tell you something. I know some Pisces who are. I mean, when I tell you, they notice every little thing. They the difference between them and Virgo is Virgo will speak on it. A Pisces won't. A Pisces will collect that information and store it in their memory bank just to hold on to it because now they have sort of applied that energy to that person. They've associated that particular behavior to that person without saying a word that's why you're that high priestess you get knowledge without revealing it so it's something that somebody is noticing that you look you see something different you know how to look at things from a different way Up, upside down boy you turn me inside out and round and round and that's just how you see everything you be looking at it upside down around and round every from every angle and very particular about it too to your particular pisces you know and this is when you start building those fences when you could kind of say you know what hmm Okay, that, that's a piece of the fence I'm putting up. And then you look at something else. Well, that's another piece I'm putting up. That's, a, that's another piece I got to put up. That's when you start building those fences. But I'm going to tell you something. There's something somebody feels like you're stuck on with them. They feel like you're not only like you won't change the way you see them. You won't let something go. You won't change the way you think when it comes to them. You won't move on from it. But I see you still sitting there looking at it like, hmm, it's still more that I want to see, more to learn before I move on. It's something else that you feel like you don't know. You feel like if you found this, if you found something out, you want to know more now. Something is intriguing to you. Excuse me. My best. Excuse me. Three of Cups here. Mmm. So with the three of cups clarifying this prison and bad health, because that could represent hospital. It doesn't represent like it could represent hospital or something that has to do with your um, health. It could also represent stress. It can it could represent mental health. OK, it could represent you being in your mind too much when you know if you're in your mind too much, you think about something too much. It can cause you stress. Some of you all this person is laying down on their back. There may be back issues or something like that that you're trying to deal with. I feel like with this three of cups here. You're about to get some sort of good news, some love. You're about there's something that's going that you're going to have a reason a reason to celebrate something. Just to kind of take you out 
of this energy okay it's not that something isn't going on or you and somebody haven't hit or hit a rift in your life it's just that you're i see you to being taken out of some sort of energy where you can kind of celebrate and focus on the good things in life for a moment maybe you're being invited to a family function or maybe you're going you're having you're going to some event or something maybe you and some friends are just hanging out laughing kicking up your heels having a little bit of fun but i see something changing with this energy here and you're doing this con consciously um and you're not doing it alone okay the magician card you're about to magically change something you're in that alchemist energy you notice something too pisces i'm gonna tell you something also some of you all i don't know what you're reading i don't know what books you're reading right now but you've discovered something if you haven't discovered something in a book you're going to discover it some of you all have been reading on how to do love spells. Now, I'm going to tell you the only thing, and I, yes, I'm a tarot reader and all of that kind of stuff, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm the type of person I don't believe, I don't agree with love spells. I'm not going to say I don't believe in them. I don't agree with them. I'm going to tell you why. Because we have free will. Okay? And when you start doing love spells on, per, on people, you start messing with their free will. If you don't love me for me, I don't want you. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to have to put no damn potions together and be right down no daggone where I don't want none of that. If I want you to be attracted to me because you're naturally attracted to me, I don't want to have to do anything or say anything extra beyond what takes me out of anything that will take me out of my natural character. I don't want to have to do that to get you to love me. I want to be my natural self. And if I can't get you to like me or love me to be from being my natural self, then that's not meant to be. So the magician card is much as it's coming out in the reading and I see it. I just don't agree with love spells. I don't. I, I feel like it goes up against a person's, um, free will but it is people out here who do it they do love spells but pisces some of you all are in the energy you're reading on something with this lover's card here and this mature man here i feel like you and somebody are close in age too they may be a year older than you or a year younger than you or something like that but you're close in age there's an energy here where somebody wants you to love them the way that they if you're not doing the love spells and they are somebody doing some damn love magic though somebody is reading on something or looking at something also another thing that i see is if you're not doing love spells now it's something it's love spells now where you do them on other people that's what i don't agree with but some of you all may even be doing love spells on yourself, meaning like you're saying, I want to treat myself right. I want to see the good in myself. I want to be the best version of myself because then that will attract the right kind of people to you. Now, I do agree with that. If you're if it's self work, self help, you know, um, learning something like that, whether it's through your health, the way you eat, the way you exercise, the way you think, you know, the way you uh, release stress, um, Things like that. So I feel like you're learning something with all these books here. And it has something to do with love. And you're magically utilizing everything you have to kind of uh, bring forth what you want to see. Now, if you're working on yourself, I see this as a beautiful, magnificent thing. And instead of you being in energies around people where you feel like you got to be putting up all these barriers and fences and all this kind of stuff... You have those healthy boundaries and your healthy boundaries will be respected because you're going to attract the right kind of person for your energy. Some of you all have been attracting the wrong kind of people and that's why you've been going through what you've been going through. Um, also, again, this person, somebody wants you to see them the way that you used to. They want you to hold. I feel like you show somebody how much you love them at one time and you held them in very high regard. They want to see that again. They felt like they were the leader in the connection and you gave them a hundred percent of support. 
Maybe something will happen with that page. They took you for granted. They kind of looked at you as naive. And I feel like now you kind of feel like you were naive. Maybe you were very young when you met this person. Or this could have been something that happened in your youth. Maybe, you know, this is someone who you, they told you what you wanted to hear. You could have been naive. Um, pages are very naive energies, but it's also an energy of intuition. It's also an energy of hopefulness, right? So I feel like this person, this is someone who you hoped for. You, you know, they, they kind of like, um... You know how you know how you meet someone, and maybe you all don't know. You can let me know if you could relate or not. But you know how you meet someone, and I remember feeling like this at one time in my life about a person, where I just I love the good and the bad about them. You know what I mean? Like maybe I was naive, but I loved the good and the bad about them. I knew that they weren't perfect, but just to hear their voice made me feel happy even if I was upset with them you know um I feel like this is how you felt and somebody knew that about you they knew that you liked being in their presence in their presence even if you all had a falling out so it's like okay you know how you have a falling out with somebody and you all live together and I'm saying live together because the house is right here right and instead of them leaving out, they may just go to another part of the house, meaning like they go, maybe they go watch TV or something. And you may be mad at them, but y'all are still in the same energy. Y'all say still in the same vicinity. Y'all still in the same area, you know, and secretly, as long as you got your eyes on them, you can have your eyes on them or they can have their eyes on you. Even if you all are upset with each other, it's still all good. Cause the cause you still they get on your damn nerves, but you still love their funky ass. That's what I'm saying. You know? This is what I'm saying with somebody. And this is this is this person wants you to feel that way about them again. You know? They want you to hold them in high regard. They want things to be the way that they used to be. If you look at this picture here, this person wear their, wears their heart on their sleeve. I feel like this is what it was. You wore your heart on your sleeve for someone and somebody loved you being in that energy. You know I'm about to delve deeper into this. Mm, 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 look, I, look, oh Lord, hey, 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 Pisces. Who in the heck is this? Child. Please tell me y'all ain't had that Bobby and Whitney type love. Please tell me that. Because something was toxic. There was a codependency. You and this person did depend on each other in different ways, toxic ways. There was some sort of codependency between you all. Sometimes y'all hated being around each other, but then y'all hated being apart. Okay? Okay? It's like this person get on my nerves. They left, they left their underwear. They look at how look at how they left the washcloth hanging in the bathroom this time. Child, you done told them to hang the washcloth up a certain way. They still don't hang it up that way. And it is, it's like nails on a chalkboard. But you know what? You still love that person dirty draws. Hmm. Ain't that about a trip? There was some sort of connection you and this person had where I feel like it was hard for you to break away from them. Hard for them to break away from you too. The devil could represent sex. It could represent money. It could represent some sort of power. Maybe that's what it was. It could have been a money. Damn, this person, they, they just spoiled me financially, but I can't stand them. They get on my nerves. Or damn, the sex is bomb.com, but I can't stand them. They get on my nerves. You know, it's like... Something, once you come out of some illusion or fog, you realize that something is toxic. And I'm looking at the fire here. Wait, hey, Pisces. Wait, man. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. There's somebody, was somebody burning? 
Was somebody burning or something? I hope ain't none of y'all experienced something like that. Somebody may have been burning. Ooh. Look. Being sneaky. Trying to get away with something. Bad health. Look, look, look. I said, some, oh, sucky. So, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me be nosy. Let me see what else is going on, Pisces. Hold on. I'm being nosy and y'all reading. My bad. And you know you ain't got to say nothing if you're in the comment section. You're like, damn, I did have to deal with that. But da 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 da, -da I don't want to say nothing because I don't want to. Oh, that's fine. Just hit the like button. Okay. All right. Um, Some of you or this person, they could have, they unfortunately, um, and my apologies if they did give you like an SCD or something like that. Um, but they also could have just been, this could have been burning bridges with you. That could represent they burnt like the energy is something that they say they tried to get away with something being sneaky okay strategizing but i feel like this is somebody it took you a long time to break away from with all the toxicity and this connection it took you a long time to break away from this person or it took them a long time to break away from you they want you to see them and hold them in high regard like they used to pay Gerard to see this person. I'm going to tell you something. They're trying to speak highly of you in public because they're hoping that the good news that they put out about you will get back to you. They're hope they say something positive about you. But hey, Pisces, you walk. <laughs> hey, Pisces, you got your back turned. You walking away, you leaving some sort of emotions on the table here. What's going on? Pisces, what is going on? This person is hoping if they say something publicly, like, yeah, that was my baby. That was my boo. That was my wife. That was my husband. That was, that's the person I should have married. That's a, they had this day. They, they doing this person hoping that if they say something loud, something new, change the energy from negative to positive, change their wording, that you will get the message. They know you got the message of them saying something negative about you. They want you to get the message of them saying something positive. But y'all know how it is. The negative stuff travel at the light of speed. At the, I mean, at the speed of light. You know, say something negative. I'm telling you, it will get to the person before the last word leave your mouth. But say something positive. It'll grow mold. It'll have cobwebs on it and everything before the person hear about it. I'm just saying. This person is saying something positive about you and they're hoping you will hear it because they're hoping you'll look at them like you used to. You got the Eight of Cups right here. Seems that you're on some sort of spiritual journey. Eight of Cups is Pisces energy moving forward, seeking some sort of intuition or spiritual journey. Just kind of just seeing what else is out there, but also not really revealing things to you to I mean it's almost like the world hasn't revealed the best part of this life yet to you and you know it's something better out there so you're seeking something what's up under that three of rods yeah you're waiting for your ships to come in and turn around five of swords it looks like you're trying to get away from some sort of drama negativity possibly even bullying or something like that the star card you've been wishing for some sort of change too okay so Pisces you got some unexpected money coming in some sort of unexpected income. Your your hard work, tool, and labor is coming off. Some of you all have just been working, working, work, working nine to five. What a way to make a living, barely getting by. So some of you all have been working your butt off, just trying to make sure that you stay, you know, kind of like ahead of your bills or at least trying to pay your bills or something. And you're seeking something beyond what you have. OK, you know that there's something better out there. You're like, this can't just be it. I, it got to be something better than this. OK, so I feel like that's the journey that you're on. But somebody wants you to see them the way you used to see them. I'm going to pull from this hidden deck here, the hidden truth. Let's see what else is coming out for you, Pisces. I'm going to pull from this deck. Hopefully you all are enjoying a longer reading. Just, you know, let me know. You broke my heart. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Okay. All right. 
y'all gonna bomb me out all this day gonna sing it. okay and then i'm gonna somebody feel like you broke their heart pisces because you was pointing out everything that was wrong with them no you didn't come to me with your shoelaces untied or your shoes tied that tight their foot might got a passion mark on it because their shoe was tied too tight something going on pisces let me see finding myself it was time i went within to find myself again i need to figure out what i want out of life i need space you may have told somebody you needed space you was going to find yourself find yourself see what else is out there all right and let's see what's in this lovers oracle deck and that's the end of your reading pisces some of you all are in the energy where, you know, you're just in that energy where you are looking at what your other possibilities are in this life. Um, this person feels like things aren't over and they just kind of are trying to speak highly of you because they know that something that they, say, that they say negative about you got back to you. So they're trying to speak positively of you, hoping that that information will get back to you. Um, but it seems as though right now you're in some sort of different energy. You could just be kind of looking for something better in life, looking to resolve some matters, looking to change the energy with yourself. Um, just trying to have a deeper understanding of what this life wants from you um, and what you, how you can vibrate in your best energy. Let's see. The past is now behind you. Look, 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 look how the cards are coming out. Finding myself. It was time that I with, went with them to find myself. And then look, walking away, the Eight of Cups is like leaving the past behind. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. If this ain't the day on Eight of Cups, I don't know what this is. Look how these cards are matching up. Um, yeah, so you're believing in something right now. You're ready to leave the past behind. And then the card on top says new beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah. So some of you all are ready to leave the past behind. I feel like you gave somebody a chance and I don't know what was going on between y'all. It, it, some of this could have came out in the reading of what was going on between y'all. But I feel like this person wants you to see them the way that you used to. They want you to hold. They want you to. They are, they looked at. I made. I feel like you made this person feel like they were your official person. Like you depended on them. They made you feel safe. They made you feel secure. They made you feel well taken care of. That you could uh, go to them and they would solve your problems. And for a moment, this person could have been doing that. But I don't know what happened. It's almost as if this could, this could have been somebody who you were married to or you were thinking about marrying. And this may be somebody... That was in your youth. Gemini could be significant here. Cancer could be significant here. Virgo could be significant here. Leo could be significant here. Um, Aquarius could be significant here. Capricorn could be significant here. Another Pisces. Yeah. Gemini. Sagittarius. All right. Um, so Pisces, y'all know, y'all know what to do. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if this is your reading. Okay. Seems that you are on a new path, new beginning, new journey. You have your back, you're in the eight of cups energy, kind of moving forward, leaving the hard times behind. You have these memories of this person of stress and banging your head. And now you're kind of just ready to kind of let the past go and embrace what's new out here for you and releasing all those negative energies and Oh, you know, being open to new possibilities, you know, you feel like this new path that you're on right now, it's available for you to you. And so you're what well, you're it looks like you're following it. Um, yeah, you're you're seeking some sort of new beginning. And this person wants to almost like rekindle something with you. So they're they're putting out a lot of positivity, hoping you'll pick up on the energy. But I kind of feel like you're ahead of it. Like, so this person is talking positive about you behind your back. But I feel like it's not really getting to you because all these, all these emotions, all you remember is the negative that you heard or what was happening. And so you're kind of 
moving in a better direction that you feel like is best for you. There may be some unexpected money coming in. It looks like it is coming in and it's coming from your hard work. Something that you're working on is paying off. Um, I feel like you've been waiting to see this anyway. All right. That's the end of your reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for laughing with me, loving me. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Thank you to all of the people who donate. Thank you to all of the people who like and share the videos. Thank you to all the comments that you all leave to. I appreciate that. It helps this channel grow so much. Um, thank you to everybody who's gone over to my Star Spa channel and support that channel as well. Um, I am uploading the last few few videos the last few readings i mean for the last zodiac signs that i haven't done yet and that's libra um scorpio and sagittarius and i will be uploading those today so um you all can go check those out the all the other zodiac signs are uploaded so if you do know your natal chart go over there and check it out you know um and some of those readings could definitely be relatable to you all right so make sure y'all subscribe over there hit that like share and subscribe button you know on that channel as well as on this channel and i'm just giving y'all the biggest hug and the kiss, kiss, kissy, kissy, kissy. And um, thank you so much for loving me back. And I will talk with you all amazing people another time.